Hello, I'm in Miami. My husband had to be here for work and you will watch this video later, but today is the first Friday of the month. And so I was determined to get to mass, even though I'm in a very unfamiliar city. I've been here before, but it was with family. So we just went to the beach and I hung out with family. I haven't really been out and about in the city. I'm doing the first Friday's devotion this year, which involves getting to Mass on the first Friday of the month for nine consecutive months in reparation for the Sacred Heart of Jesus and offering that Mass for the Sacred Heart of Jesus. So today my Uber canceled on me. Another Uber came and she was super nice. And so I was late to mass. I get to the church and everything's locked. Uh, it was in a chapel in the back. So I was late to mass, unfortunately, but I got to mass. And I really wanted to visit this house of prayer that I found online. Uh, it had a first class relic and adoration from nine to four. I took an Uber to the address that I found online, but it wasn't there. <laughs> and I tried calling before going there, but nobody answered. I called again and it was a completely different address that wasn't even online. And I just felt so uncomfortable in this city that I'm very unfamiliar with. And at times in this city, it doesn't even feel like you're in the US. Everyone speaks Spanish and a lot of advertisements are in Spanish. I went to a Catholic bookstore and every book was in Spanish and I love the Spanish language. I'm trying to learn Spanish. And I was actually excited on the flight here. There was an English speaking man and a Spanish speaking woman who were trying to figure out their seats on the plane. And in my broken Spanish, I was able to help them get it figured out. I was so happy. Anyway, Miami, sort of doesn't feel like the US, it feels like little Cuba or something. And so I was feeling a little uncomfortable, especially not having my own car or bike and just being at the mercy of my phone and Uber. So I just came back to my hotel and didn't make it to the house of prayer. So also for this first Friday, and since we're in Lent, I'm trying to do little sacrifices today. So in this hotel, there's a little lounge and it has water and soda. I don't drink soda anyway but it has chocolate milk. I love chocolate milk, I never buy it, but if I see it at an event or something, I always treat myself to chocolate milk. I feel like such a little kid, but I love chocolate milk. Anyway, for this first Friday, I am not gonna let myself have any chocolate milk, even though it's free and I could drink like 10 cartons of chocolate milk if I wanted to, but I'm giving that up giving it up for Jesus. Anyway, I just wanted to share that to inspire you to give up something that you really love this Lent and especially on Fridays. I just love Fridays because I love the abstaining from meat, which is actually hard for me. I know it's not that hard for some people, but a lot of the people that I spend time with love meat. For instance, tonight with some friends, we're going to go eat Peruvian chicken. It's called pollo a la brasa. And when you go to eat Peruvian chicken, the chicken is the main thing that you're going to eat. And since it's Friday, I will just eat the sides, you know, rice and beans or yuca. And so that is a little sacrifice for me. And of course, the main reason why I love Fridays is because I reflect on Jesus's deep love for me and for you to sacrifice himself for our sins because he loves us so much. So for the rest of this video, I'm just gonna share a bit of Miami, a bit of my trip. This is the beautiful view. This is the church that I was able to go to even though I was a bit late. And just across the street was this nice little place that you can come pray. This is Our Lady of Fatima. I loved this little waterfall here and the three children being included, three children of Fatima. I love all of the palm trees in Miami. So my husband had to be here for work, but it also uh, worked out that our friend's uh, birthday celebration was also in Miami just a day after my husband had to 
be here for work, so we got to celebrate his birthday. Here's all of us at the beach, except I cut my husband out of all of these pictures. My husband's very private, but it was so great that uh, we could celebrate his birthday. And here are some more views. I just love the pretty views in Miami. loved the papa rellena in the airport from the cuban bakeries oh my goodness so delicious so it's time to go home and i thought i would share my takeoff footage for my flight home because it was so beautiful to see miami from the sky i am still amazed that we can travel this way so fast and so high in the sky whenever people complain in an airport i am just not understanding <laughs> look how beautiful this is look at the clouds you enjoy the rest of this footage and I hope you're having a beautiful and fruitful Lent. Definitely stay tuned for some really pretty colors in the sky in just a minute or so. Anyway, until next time, bye!